Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Brenda Perryman Show right here on TV 33, WHPR, Comcast 20 in Detroit, and I have a wonderful, I mean a wonderful, glorious show for you today. We're first going to have Dr. Rose Moten, psychologist and also a co-host on Table Talk, to talk to us about vision boards and why they can be very important. And I need the men to listen to, to watch this too, the men and the ladies, because maybe men, you may not want to show it, but you could have yourself a vision board. Also, I have Mr. Darren Calhoun today, who's going to be coming on talking about employment and talking about Dr. Martin Luther King as we get ready to celebrate that, that weekend, this weekend. And I'd like to first introduce my first guest, Dr. Rose Moten. Many of you know her from Table Talk with Brenda Perryman. Yes, good morning good and morning. happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Brenda. It's your birthday. It's my birthday honey. Mm, don't thank mess up that makeup. That's what they have. <laughs> Keep it. Uh, you yes. want me open? Oh, yeah. It's I just a, a little nice card. I, I was going to try and get some cupcakes yesterday, but it started snowing, and we were oh, coming from beautiful. downtown. Oh, this is a little different. Now playing. Up in lights. I love it. I, you know, <laughs> I'm about Broadway, you know. That is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, well, we'll keep that over to yeah. the side and make sure we keep it displayed <laughs> and everything. As you know, Dr. Rose is a psychologist, mm -hmm. and she's also an innovator. She's very creative. That's another thing. She could have been you. in the arts like I am. I think that was my calling. I miss calling, but now I found you, so. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I will put you out there. I will put you out there, and I'm so happy to know her, and she's just a great friend. Thank you, likewise. And uh, Dr. Rose, mm -hmm. why don't you tell people about what a vision board is and why you decided to make one years ago and and some of the things that you talk about before you, when you're telling people about, about vision it. boards. Yeah, you know, vision boards, it's not a new concept at all. Um, they've been around, they've been called different things, dream boards, some people call it mind mapping. But basically what it is, it's a tangible, it's a real life representation of the things that you want in your life, the things you want to occur, the things that you want to manifest. So you put them on a board basically and any type of board and we'll talk about that as we do it a little later and what it does it reminds you every single day when you look at it of the things and the goals and the intentions that you've set forth for yourself because when you have a goal or intention and you put it into plain sight anything that doesn't go in alignment or is in accordance with that goal or vision you can be quicker to recognize that and let it kind of fall off so right. it works, it, and it's, there's so many other even uh, metaphysical beliefs and even psychological and physical beliefs because when you put things on a board or whatever that may be, what you intend to have happen, your brain is now working 24-7 to see how it can make those things happen because your mind and your brain is a goal-seeking organism. So it sets out to make these things a reality. Right. Now tell the audience some of the things that have happened when you started oh, doing wow. your vision board. I mean, you have yeah. to hear this, everybody. Yeah. You know, the first vision board I did years ago, uh, this is the 4.0 version here, but the first one I did, I had several different things on there. The, the key to a vision board, for those of you at home who are considering making one, don't discount yourself, don't count yourself out. Don't say, well, you know, I doubt if this is gonna happen. So I'm just going to put things on that I think is going to happen. That's not the ideal. You put things on that you desire, that you want to see occur in your life, even if it seems far-fetched, honestly. So on my first vision board, I had a picture of Oprah. <laughs> I had a picture of a school that I wanted my boys to attend, and it was a private school, a um, lot more than what I could afford to pay a year. I had other things on there, um, um, just words, even key words, happiness, you know, better health things of that sort. I had a closet that I wanted, <laughs> like a walk-in closet. And I tell you, within a matter of a couple of years, 80% of the things on that vision board had manifested itself. Even the school that I wanted my boys to attend. Now, I had e not even visited this school before, but I heard about it. I had sent my kids to the camp they would have off-site before. And what happened was a friend of mine who had known about the school, told me about some opportunities that were there, 
and I jumped on it. Lo and behold, my son was able to get a full ride scholarship throughout high school. And my second son, who wasn't even the intent at that time, later on the school called and said, hey, when he was going into middle school, we have a scholarship for him if you're interested Isn't in it. Isn't that fabulous? And so to add all of that up with my son's high school years and my other son's middle and high school years, that was over two hundred and forty thousand dollars worth of scholarship money that went toward them to um, their educational career at that time. And tell them what happened as far as Oprah was concerned. Oh yes, I had a picture of Lady O, because who doesn't want to meet Oprah, right? You know. Well, yeah. And right. I always, you right. know, it was just always my desire to meet her. Didn't know how it would happen, if it would happen, but I, I wanted to just affirm that it was going to happen. It was a possibility, so I had that there. Um, and about a year and a half into that vision board, there was a competition that came up on a local station, news station, where it was like um, Oprah's biggest fan contest or what have you. And I honestly thought it was just because this is what they pretty much advertised. You were going to have a person come to your home during the uh, opening show of her 25th season to cook a dinner for you and like 10 of your closest friends. Mm -hmm. And I had a good friend of mine. I had saw the advertisement for it, but didn't really think much about it but a good friend of mine again in both of these cases it were outside people who had come in to see and saw right. my vision board right to say hey you know there's this competition you should enter it and I went ahead and entered the competition didn't think anything you only had to enter a hundred word essay or what have you lo and behold the prize was a trip to tickets, round trip tickets to go see Oprah on her show a live taping or what have you and while I was there Oprah picked me out of the audience of 300 people to have commentary with her and then brought me backstage later uh, to take pictures. And if you, on my vision board now, I have a picture of the two of us together during that time. And since that time, I've had like three other encounters where right, producers right. from her own network, the Oprah Winfrey Network, came last year to film me for an episode of one of the shows on the own network. And there are about two other encounters that have occurred too right. so this is powerful this is powerful right, right 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 now i brought some things dr rose so why don't you show them yours oh this is what i wanted to ask also with the vision board do you make one every year or can it be ongoing the, the one vision board be ongoing the one it's it's a personal choice honestly um i don't do one every year I kind of play it by ear of what's going on in my life. And if most of the things have occurred, then it's time, time to, you know, okay, it's time to change. evolve and it's time to grow, you know, this vision even further. So you base it on it. I think the first one I had about two years, two and a half years before I did um, my second vision board. So it's all a personal choice. You can add to it, but I prefer to after, especially after a couple of years to do a completely different board. Right, right. Well. When you told me about this a year ago, well, I'd heard of them mm -hmm. before, but I just said, I think I might do it. And then my daughter went and got me a board uh -oh. after she heard you talk uh -huh. about it. And I don't think she ever made one, but I did. <laughs> but she went and got a board for me, and she Good got some her. magnets and everything. And so I said, oh, I'm being forced to do this. Let me think about what I want mm -hmm, in my future mm -hmm. because a lot of times like you say we'd say well I kind of want this maybe this you know let me put some things up in front of me yeah. that I could see and last year one of the things I'm putting up I put up that I'm putting back up again is when I performed uh, you know was going around performing yeah. a lot of poetry at the city fest and I was on that national tour and everything and so I said I think I'm going to, I had kind of put poetry to the side a little bit, but I said, let me do some more poetry. Yeah, so I put that it. up, and as soon as I put that up, I started getting calls to do uh -huh. poetry. Amazing. In fact, I ran out mm -hmm. of that book, and I, that's how I ended up with that yes. next book. And then I started thinking about um, weight mm -hmm. and health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was another thing that I put up. Would you like to explain some of the yeah. things you have on your vision board it, and the kind of vision board it is? Yeah, the kind of vision board. I want to, like you, you just pointed out how soon things started to happen. Yes. And what Brenda is sharing is not unusual. Honestly, people write and email me all the time and say, you won't believe this. You know, I put this on my vision board. I actually had a client before who made his vision board and 24 hours later, a goal that had eluded him for 30 years 
he achieved? It was a man. It was a man. See? Oh, yeah. Men make vision boards, too. Yes. Men make vision boards, too. So it's very powerful. Mine here, and you can use any type of board, poster board. You can go to your dollar store and get a poster board. Right. Some people use large picture frames. I see you have here a magnetic board, which yeah. is great, cork boards. I kind of every now and then like to switch it up. So what I have here is actually like a shadow box. And it's something that you can just open up. It opens up like this, so I can just place all the pictures on. Um, I use straight pens to place the pictures and words of what it is that I want to occur um, in my life on there. And so it's pretty user friendly. And what I also did with it, really quickly, I put those. Um, Magnetic. Uh, no, these no. are actually the Velcro, Velcro. You know, the 3M Velcro. Right. Because it sticks on the uh, on the wall. So it's on the oh, wall in my okay. office. Okay, okay. So that's it's great. right there in my face every single day to remind me. So if I get off track, and this is what's good. When you start getting off track, it reminds you. Okay, yeah. these are the goals. These are the intentions yeah. you set for yourself. And I notice you have magazines up there. You have yeah. media, all forms mm -hmm. of media, internet, television, magazines. And didn't you just have an article oh accepted? Gosh. Yes, this was, and, and this is how soon this stuff can work. So one of the things that I wanted to um, accomplish is to have more media exposure so I can spread my message and do things of that sort. And I'm not kidding, within like two weeks of doing this board last fall, I reached out and had different magazines, you know, reach out to me and say, hey, we're going to publish this article. We're interested in it. I've had two, like, automobile companies. I had a call from Chrysler and GM within the last week to come out and speak to them um, mm. next month. I Great. mean, it's just been amazing. Uh, um, OS, you know, one of the local colleges has contracted me to come and do my Bloom series with them, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some things, but this is how it works. Right. This stuff has right. power. You create an energy. And also, tell them about magazines. Yeah, so what you want to do, you want to get, find your magazines. Of course, we have Lady O here, because these are always great magazines. Thanks, um, Michelle. <laughs> thank you. And so in the magazine, you want to look for words that kind of resonate within you, and pictures. So words and pictures, powerful words and pictures that resonate I with you. I just saw that word, earn. Uh-huh, so earn, that's a great word, isn't it? Yes. So if you want to earn, whatever that is, um, and it has a word cash here, so maybe you'll cut out those two words, earn, cash, and you'll place those words um, on the board. So what you want to do, you want to go through the magazines, you want to choose, there's a, in my book, Bloom, Seven Steps to Personal Transformation, I give a four-step process to doing your vision board. The first step is to choose, like, the words and the pictures that you want to place in there. So you choose them. Then the next step, and Brenda's already done hers, is to remove them. So you get scissors, you know, and cut them out of the magazines. So choose, remove, and then you're going to place them strategically on your boards, make it nice, uh, you know, aesthetically pleasing, visually pleasing to you. And then you want to paste them, or like I did, pin them. So they're, or like Brenda's doing, she's uh, hearing magnet magnets magnet to it, so that's magnetic, even great. Magnetic um, little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So number one, choose, remove, place, and then paste your pictures and your power words um, to create this energy of this vision board. And, you know, it works. Talk to anyone that's had one, um, and they typically will share with you just how powerful the process is. And I look here, I have uh, Dr. Sweet, Dr. Oshian Sweet, mm. and the members of his team of attorneys because I've been asked to bring that play back, oh, so I'm awesome. going to think about how I'm going to do mm -hmm. that. But if I put it out there, it'll it's happen. It's going to happen, so be ready. It'll be, yeah. It, when you put it out there, be ready. And um, also, there are some uh, writing a play. Well, that's part of it, mm -hmm. um, writing a play. I'm, I'm into the creativity, but I noticed that I didn't have a lot of hobbies and extra stuff. So I just said. So your life is a hobby. Well, <laughs> for some, yeah, it is. It's very much so. Uh, I love my life, but I just, I, I have these wine glasses because mm. I said maybe I'll take a wine tasting class. That's something that I want to do. Yeah, it's can, anything. You can put anything on here. So Brenda has some of her, like, really pressing, huge goals that she's um, looking at with the plays and something that people may not consider to be such 
um, as much as a big deal, but it something that you want to it's do a big deal to me so wine tasting cl classes is great so i see food here so maybe you're looking at cooking classes no or i'm looking <laughs> at a chef no. a barbecue <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking, looking at i might have my fourth of july barbecue because <laughs> okay. that's on the grill mm. but i also what the reason why i had the food here too was because it had a lot of vegetables and i want to do more vegetables healthier yeah, yeah. Health, healthier living you know, I try, I try. And of course, I found this uh, street sign with dollar signs. Mm -hmm. So I Point said, you toward the money. Right, right, right. And it's nothing wrong with that. You know, whatever. It's, it's not about being materialistic. It's not about um, just putting things on there. Like we said, pictures of things you want. You can use words, power words that resonate with you. Like I have the word travel in here. I have vitality, joy, fun. Um, you know, better health, things that are important to me. And one of the other things I want to point out, Brenda, it's so important. I'll hear people, and I've heard people in the past to say, um, I did my vision board, and then I put it under my bed. What? Or behind my dresser. You know, they'll have it up for a couple of days and then store it away so it can gather dust. You need to have this out. Like I, I said. see mine mm -hmm. every day. Every single day. Every day. High traffic area. Put it in a well, high traffic my area. My tra high traffic area is my bedroom. <laughs> so I know when I I have it on a wall that's facing me, mm -hmm. and so I'm able to look at it every day and kind of count. I said, did I did I do that? Or how's that coming? Yeah. It kind of gets me to keep up things because I'm totally right brain. Mm -hmm. I'm abstract yeah. random. So. I have to look at things. It reminds you. It, re it reminds me of things it, and stuff. And don't be ashamed. Other folks have also said, well, I don't want to have it up because if family or friends come over, what are they going to think or what are they going to say? You know, you can't be concerned about what people are going to think about the things you want to have happen in your life. These Absolutely. are your intentions. So you have to be confident to, enough to be able to, if you want to attract this stuff in your life, claim it for yourself. And you can't claim it by having it under the bed or behind the dresser and it's it's just an interesting thing to do to look at things now what do i want what are mm -hmm. things that i like what are things that uh i think will bring my family closer together i have my grandchildren up here and oh. i just like you and you just lost your mom mm -hmm. uh, you have your mother yes. you and your mother i have my mother up here who just turned 94 wow. and uh i just feel enormously blessed with that but some of the things that I've forgotten that I do, because God, God has blessed me so much. Absolutely. And um, I had to, to put here and remind myself, oh, yeah, because I do believe that it is a sin not to use the gifts that mm -hmm. God gives you. He gives them to you for mm -hmm. a reason. I just believe that, you know. So um, I like the idea, too, that men have done this. Oh, yes. Me, my, my husband. Did when he? When we were dating. You know, he saw mine, he was like, what is this about it? You know me, I'm going to, I'm a proponent of it, so I'm going to talk it to death. And when people hear about how it's worked in your life, then people say, you know what, what do I have to lose? Let me give this a try. nothing to lose, mm -hmm. let me try it. Mm -hmm. And I, I'll be honest with you, I was just shocked. Yeah. I, w I was really shocked where all of a sudden I started getting these calls. calls. And I hadn't done poetry for a couple of years, a lot of places, because I got really busy with the show mm -hmm. and all of and the plays and stuff. Yes. So, I, you know, I, I said, let me stop cherry picking. Let me, let me do be this. Be specific. Let me get, right. Yeah. Let me be specific. And I thought, I think that it's a wonderful idea. And, you know, don't worry if something doesn't come to you right away. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. Yeah. People. You know, this is that society that wants Microwave, everything. everything. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, the Jetsons. Yeah, like, and like I said, the first one, it was a couple years in between putting that up and the opportunity that um, with, with the Oprah situation and with the Sun School situation. Also, what's amazing, and you can agree with me on this, you'll be surprised at how little effort you put into making these things occur which is amazing. It's not that you can do it and it's no effort at all. You still continue to affirm and go after your dreams. But as I mentioned, several of these situations that, um, or things that manifested for me, it was third party people who, because I had put this up here and I'm creating this energy to attract this stuff, who made me aware, who was able to point me and say, hey, right. maybe this could be the thing that gets you 
to this desire or this set goal or what have right. you. Right, and it's nice to have people. Well, mine, I kind of keep it to myself, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in the in in my room and stuff like that. And I just love the idea because it doesn't have to be. You don't have to have a lot of things on it. I end up writing on mine too because I have a dry oh, erase. That's a great idea. Dry erase mm -hmm. pen where you can just write other things that you desire on here and then you can just erase it mm -hmm. when something happens mm -hmm. and that's good that's and you awesome. could get one of these boards anywhere if you just want to just get started and yeah. do something just you know you could just try it out and it was just something well, i wanted good. to show my viewers how i just got i mean it's not aesthetically that no, pleasing but i understand what i have up here but look how quick you yes. were able to do that very quickly and very people quickly. put it off most people will say you know i've been putting it off for years or what have you they put it off a lot of times because they think it's going to require a lot of time it really doesn't require a lot of time to create one why don't you hold yours up too so your audience can see the, and you could use just poster board yeah you poster can use board. poster board that's very simple very very inexpensive mm -hmm. And like magazines, well, you could come over to my house and get a thousand <laughs> magazines. I must have thousands. I, I gave, uh, I threw 50 away the other day. I ha had so many because that you, you, when you're busy, you try to read them. Yeah. But, you know, your time is Most funny. Is so you end up having these. So this is, a, this is just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful idea. And I just hope um, that... People, just give it a try. Give it a try. Give it a try. I'm, I'm so pleased all the time to get uh, emails and messages back from people who say, wow, this is working. I never thought it would. I've gone to several churches, too, so a lot of religious organizations are implementing this with their congregation. I think that's just fabulous because, you know, um, there's a, a Bible talks about vision. You know, right. Where there's no vision, the people will perish. Right. Uh, and right. the people or the person. So when you don't have a vision, you will feel like just a you know leaf in the wind blowing wherever the wind takes you. When you have a goal, when you have a vision, when you set an intention for yourself, it's like you are you know a heat seeking missile. Right. <laughs> That's a great way to put yeah. that. Great way to put that. Now you have some upcoming. Uh, Let's talk about the Oakland Community College yeah. event because can't, isn't it open to it's the public? It's open to the public. Um, OCC, I went last fall and did a workshop with them on um, the first part of the bloom process, and they were so pleased, the staff and students, that they, without me knowing, this was, I got word of that after I did this, uh, got contact from the officials there that they wanted me to come back and do a series from January until May, late April, early May, um, on the bloom process and so we'll be talking about vision boards we'll be talking about rediscovering you the seven steps of bloom um, you can find out more information by going to my website which is um, dr rose molten m o t e n dot com the doctors dr rose molten dot com also there's a video that you can go to when you go to my website click on my youtube channel on how to create a vision board and there's a piggyback video on it that says, okay, you've created your vision board, now what? Because it tells you how to really bring life to the vision board once it's created. Absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fabulous. And uh, I was going to ask you one other thing about the vision board. Um, because people just, <laughs> some things are just so private. You may put it up there and don't worry about it. If you're worried about people in your family seeing it, put it somewhere where you're the only one who sees it, yeah, if you're you, that affected. You know, if you're that affected, but you know, as the psychologist in me also says, you shouldn't be that affected, you really? know, because if people are going to downplay your dreams, maybe these aren't the people you need to have in your life. Absolutely. And trust me, because I've had people to say, oh, that's silly, but when they start seeing that stuff happen for you, some of your biggest critics are going to run out there and buy themselves a poster board and create a vision board for themselves. Right, right, absolutely. I just think, it, and I've seen the vision board parties oh, where lots a bunch of, of this people year. get together mm -hmm. and they just create vision boards. That's awesome. They bring, they mm -hmm. cut out their magazine clippings or pictures of family pictures and so forth. You want to, I, I put my grandchildren up here because I wanted to see yeah. them more and everything. I just oh, love them. I love them pictures. so much. Oh, I love children. them so much. But uh, 
I, I just, I needed this, you mm -hmm. know, because I, I've, you know, last month was a pretty hard yeah. month. This past month was a pretty hard mm -hmm. month for me, and I just see uplift. Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel I needed to feel uplift, and I wanted you to come on so that we could talk about this. Now, what are you going to do for your birthday? Well, you know, my husband has plans, and so I think he's planned some things for me. He's kind of tight-lipped about them, but looking oh. forward to it. I'm sure it'll be great. And tomorrow, um, take the kids out because they want to celebrate, too. So yeah. we'll do some things with the children. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. Three-day weekend, right, for most oh, people? Yes, it is. It <laughs> is. My weekend is like six <laughs> days. So I just... <laughs> I have a six day weekend, no, but I'm Must busy nice, during though. I'm busy during yeah, the weekend yeah. and stuff. Don't so, let her fool you guys. She's the hardest working woman out here. But <laughs> things are getting good and things are getting better, and think smarter. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing some things. And I'll see you next week on Absolutely. on Table Talk. Looking forward to we're it. Adding some spice, 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 spice. And so we'll be back in just a moment. Dr. Rose, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. For coming and doing the vision Do board. Your vision thing. board, people. Great way to start off. Be 2014. back with Darren Calhoun in just a minute.